It's July 15th, 2021, and today is the day that the first of the advanced child tax credits are hitting people's bank accounts. A lot of families are really excited about this extra money to help out their families, but there's also a lot of people that are confused because they're getting the wrong amounts or their payments are missing. So I'm gonna go through some of the most common reasons that there might be a problem with your advanced child tax credit. The first problem I'm hearing a lot about is that there is a payment missing for one child in the family. The most frequent reason is having a child in 2021 that you haven't had an opportunity to report to the IRS yet. Now, the Advanced Child Tax Credit Portal is going to have a way to update the number of children in your family, but it is not getting released until late summer or early fall. So right now, there's really nothing you can do about this, but do not worry. Whatever amount you are owed, you will get it eventually, even if you have to wait until you have to reconcile this when you file your taxes next year. I've also seen some people missing payments for children born in 2020. This can happen if you filed your 2020 taxes, but they haven't been processed yet. I know my family filed their taxes in April 2021, and they still have not been processed yet in July 2021. So the IRS is just really behind on processing payments, so be patient. Again, there is gonna be that update opportunity in the late summer to early fall, but hopefully it'll get worked out for your family soon. The next problem I'm hearing about pretty often is people gaining deposits from the IRS of very unusual amounts. The child tax credit advance payments should be either $250 or $300 per child, so they should be nice round numbers, but I've heard about people getting a payment for $557.27 and they're thinking, what in the world is this? Well, there's a couple different reasons this could be happening. The most common one seems to be that the IRS has just released payments for adjustments for people who got unemployment compensation in 2020. There were changes in the tax law related to how unemployment compensation was treated on your taxes that came out late in the tax season. So if you filed in March, 2021 or earlier, and you had unemployment compensation in 2020, you are probably due an extra refund because of that unemployment compensation. That hit many people's account at exactly the same time as the first payments of the advanced child tax credit came out. So it's really confusing for a lot of people. You should be getting a letter from the IRS if you're in this situation, but the letter seemed to be really delayed. And a lot of times they're coming up to six weeks after you got the payment. So it can be very confusing to people. If you want to know what's going on with payments from the IRS, you can log into the general IRS portal not the child tax credit one, the general IRS portal. I'm gonna leave a link down below. You would select tax records and then choose get a transcript. You have to choose a reason, but you can pick any reason you want. And then you would click on 2020 under the section called account transcript. And this would show you the history of payments that the IRS has sent you. And hopefully this will give you some information about what's going on. This section will not show the stimulus checks or the advanced child tax credit. Those are listed separately. The other reason that you might be getting a strange amount of the child tax credit instead of those round numbers is if you were in the phase out income range. So if your family is a single income who makes over $75,000 a year or a joint family that makes over $150,000 a year, you could fall into that phase out range where you get part of the child tax credit, but it's not the full amount. So that could explain why you got an unusual amount of the child tax credit. The next problem I'm seeing is people who did not get any advanced child tax credit at all when they were expecting one. So there's two reasons I see for this. One is you had to have filed taxes in 2019 or 2020 for the IRS to be able to process a payment. If you weren't required to file, but you are eligible for the credit, you can use the IRS's non-filers tool to file a simple tax return to get you in the system so that you'll get that advanced child tax credit. Other reason people were expecting a payment and didn't get one is related to whether their direct deposit is set up correctly. You are able now to change the direct deposit information inside that child tax credit portal from the IRS, but you can only change it for the payments August going forward. You have to make the changes by the end of the month to work for the following month. That feature was not released until it was too late to change it for the July payment. So no one was able to change it for the July payment. So if you change your direct deposit information, that will work for August, but it will not work for July. Now, if your July payment went to a closed bank account, 
I am not sure what is going to happen with that payment. I'm sure the IRS will get it to you, but I'm not sure if it will be a paper check, a debit card, or if possibly they'll try depositing it in the other account. If you're in that situation, let me know down below what happens because the IRS has not released a good answer to that question, but you will get the money. It'll just be delayed. The next common problem that I've seen from a lot of people is getting $250 when they expected to get $300 for a child. Now, the difference is for children under six, you're supposed to get $300. For children over six, you're supposed to get $250. The most common point of confusion here is that that is based on the age of the child on December 31st of this year. So if your child is currently five, but they're gonna be turning six this year, you get 250, not 300. This also seems to be happening in families with a larger number of kids. I've seen a number of reports of families with over four children who got 250 each for every child in their family, even though several children were under the age of six. I'm not sure if the IRS is doing this on purpose or if it's a glitch in the system, but it seems to be a common problem with larger families. And there is no maximum to the number of children that you can claim with this new child tax credit. So you should be getting the full amount for all the children in your family, regardless of how many. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but just be aware if you have a larger family, you might be getting 250 each instead of 300 for the younger kids. I hope this clears up some of your questions about the advanced child tax credit. Next up, watch my video about how families could get burned by this new advanced child tax credit.